I'm gonna count down the top reality TV shows that make gay people scream. You can think of Flavor of Love like The Bachelor with more drama, more expletives, and violence. It was one of the first reality shows that taught me really valuable lessons like don't spit on people, don't put raw chicken in the microwave. There are a couple of seasons. I recommend starting with the first season of Flavor of Love and then moving on to I Love New York. Boy Meets Boy is a vintage reality show. It premiered in 2003, and it was one of the first that I can remember that featured an all-gay cast. Well, excluding the gay best friend who helped the main character make decisions, which I found truly odd. Back in 2003, reality shows were truly real. They were unscripted, which means the drama was on the lower end. Despite that, this show had one of the biggest twists I've ever seen. About three quarters through the season, the main bachelor finds out the group of men he's been dating, half of them are gay and half of them are straight. And he doesn't know who is who. And that if he picks a gay man at the end, then they'll actually go on a trip together. But if he picks a straight man, then he basically doesn't find love. At the end of each episode, they would reveal to the viewers whether the guys eliminated were gay or straight. If you have good gaydar, this is the perfect show for you. A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila was truly revolutionary in being a bisexual dating show. It followed a traditional bachelor style format where Tila had to give out shots to the men or women that she wanted to keep around, but she was dating both men and women. After that show, there was a sequel that had the same bisexual dating, but with bisexual twins, the Icky twins. One was named Vicky, one was named Ricky. Even though these twins weren't famous, it was really entertaining to watch bisexual twins on a dating show, also dating the same people. Tequila Tequila has since gone off the deep end, just watch any of her latest YouTube videos, but she really was at her prime during A Shot I Love. Another kind of bisexual or pansexual, open, fluid reality TV show was Are You the One, Come One, Come All. And what was great about this show was that it also not just had kind of bisexual people, but trans people as well. I was so invested in some of these characters' storylines. I know they're real people, but in my head, they're just characters. Particularly Kai and Jenna, who had one of the most tumultuous on-screen relationships that I've ever seen, full of passion, romance, vengeance. They went through a three-year relationship in three weeks on screen. The Traders season two. What I love about these types of shows is they bring the best of the best reality stars all under one roof. And while there's nothing particularly gay about this show, it has some notable gay icons on it. The show is hosted by Alan Cummings, who people have said on more than one occasion that I look like. I don't see it. Phaedra from The Real Housewives, Trishel from Real World, it has Parvati from Survivor, and I think Alan Cummings said it best on an episode of Watch What Happens Live. If you're gay, then you probably love Phaedra, and if you're queer, then you probably love Parvati. Another show where they bring the best of the best reality stars under one roof is House of Villains. The two that stood out for me were the powerhouses, Omarosa from The Apprentice and New York from I Love New York. I was cackling when I heard New York call Omarosa guzzling Republican. I can't wait for the next season of House of Villains. I hear New York is coming back and I will definitely be watching it. From Couple to Thruple represents yet another evolution of the reality dating show where you thought it was just one person dating one person. No, this show brings in couples who are looking for a third. If you're gay, you probably know at least someone who's in a thruple who has experienced being in a thruple. I thought this was mostly a gay thing, but as I am learning, this is for straight people as well. And I love the fact that you have straight couples and gay couples on the show, and we can all live harmoniously as one. Just when you thought things couldn't get crazier, enter MILF Manor. Older women who are moms are all looking for a younger man, and then younger men are all looking for an older woman. Now this all seems harmless until you realize that a son and his mother are all on the same dating show. So even though they're not dating each other, they're watching each other date other people. And even more so, they are sharing a room. So there's a couple of scenes on the show 
where you will see a son hooking up with an older woman and his mother in the bed next to him. I mean, wow, we have reached the pinnacle of reality TV here. I know there's a second season of Milk Manor where they change things around a bit and I can't wait to watch it. There are a ton of great reality TV shows out there and I'm sure I miss some. So comment below with your favorite and I'll see you guys next time.